Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have a success story you'd like to share, we love hearing those. And if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear recommended, on the program, you can head over to my blog, criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com, both of which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. You can also go to brightsideben.com and purchase products right off the website or call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, and ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business and help spread the word about how powerful and important a good nutritional supplement program can be. Or if you just want to get the product, your products at the wholesale price, you can do that as well. Call 866-735-2470. And of course, if you're interested in our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Retinol Gel, 5% retinol with vitamin C, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all made with 100% active and functional ingredients. That's all you should have to pay for, in my opinion. As a formulator, all you should have to pay for when you're buying skincare product is just the good stuff, just the active and functional ingredients. You don't need the water. You don't need the wax. You don't need the emulsifier. You don't need the surfactant. You don't need the preservative. The company selling the product does. That's how they make their money. But you don't need it. And that's why I developed the True Skin Health products. They're my gift to you as a skincare consumer, 100% active and functional ingredients. And that's why you'll notice results in one or two doses with our True Serum Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Balm, and Truth Retinol 5% Gel. Results like smoother, softer skin. Result like, results like disappearing acne. Results like lighter, more even skin tone. Results like healthier skin. Truth, treatments, truth Treatment Products, truthtreatments.com. All right, back to our D. Back to our D of the PPD hormones. Progesterone, pregnenolone, and DHEA. We're talking about the D, DHEA, like pregnenolone with which it has many similarities and from which it is derived. DHEA is a youth hormone. Unlike pregnenolone, which is benign and gentle, DHEA is a little bit more potent and needs to be respected a little bit more. You need to use DHEA much more carefully than you do pregnenolone. It's because it's so potent, relatively potent. It's still not as potent as estrogen and testosterone. You can still get it over the counter, but compared to pregnenolone, it's got, you just gotta respect it more. As we age, our DHEA levels drop, as, do our, as does our pregnenolone and progesterone. Our PPD levels drop with age, much more significantly than the more powerful hormones, testosterone and estrogen. As we age, our PPD hormones drop. Elderly patients are especially um, susceptible to the symptoms of DHEA deficiency. And DHEA is a wonderful supplement for folks in a nursing home or anybody who's getting older, really but especially elderly folks. Sometimes when I go to nursing homes and I go periodically, I was just at a nursing home in Santa Cruz a couple weeks ago. Sometimes I go to nursing homes and I see the frailty and the fragility of these poor folks 
I got to wonder, as a healthcare professional and as a nutritionist, how much of that is due simply to nutritional deficiency? This is tragic, folks. If you've ever been in a nursing home or if you've de dealt with elderly folks, and I'm talking in 80s and 90s when I talk elderly, you could see how horrible a condition it is. And considering the fact that very few of them are working with supplements or diet, especially if they're in a nursing home, you got to wonder how much, uh, how much of the, the misery of, of the elderly is due to zinc deficiency or vitamin C deficiency or protein deficiency or problems in the digestive system. I got to tell you, I think it's a lot. Just get, just use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine for someone you know or love in a nursing home or someone you know and love who's, uh, who's beco getting, becoming forgetful as they get older, suffering from any of the signs of, of aging. You got to wonder, right? See what happens. Even something as, uh, like chicken soup, like homemade chicken soup can make a significant difference. As we get older... Our steroid hormones, our PPD hormones, like everything else in the body that's good for us, that's important for us, uh, the levels drop. Cortisol goes up. Stress hormone goes up. DHEA goes down. Cortisol goes up not only because we're getting older, but because of the lousy way we live our lives, particularly around how we eat our food. DHEA, on the other hand, DHEA levels drop. Cortisol goes up, DHEA, DHEA levels drop, and this has a tremendous effect on the aging body. And many of the classic signs of aging, the, the thinning bones and the thinning muscles and the forgetfulness and the inflammatory issues and the, and the skin problems and the wrinkles, all of these are associated with, a, with a elevation in stress hormone and cortisol and a drop in your youth hormones, your PPD hormones. Pregnenolone and DHEA are building substances. Cortisol, stress hormone is a breakdown substance. One of the ways the body deals with stress is by breaking down tissue to release energy. So cortisol is a catabolic or a breakdown hormone. Pregnenolone and DHA are anabolic. They're building substances. So for osteoporosis, for example, for stress bones, which under ordinary, healthy, youthful cir circumstances, when the bones get thinner, that triggers a, a, a building response. When the bones get stressed, they become stronger when we're healthy. Under conditions of aging, under uh, conditions of the accumulation of cortisol, in combination with a drop of, in DHA, Osteoporosis hits. Osteoporosis is just degenerative, uh, a degenerative issue with the bones. It's not a disease. It's just the bones not building up appropriately. They don't need to be, we don't need to be medicated for osteoporosis. And that's why, by the way, the drugs they give you from osteoporosis are among the most deadly and toxic in the entire pharmacopoeia, no matter what you hear from Sally Field and other movie stars. No drugs are good. But uh, the bisphosphonates, those are the drugs they give you for osteoporosis, those are awful, 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 awful drugs. If you're on one, I can't think of a more awful drug, although there's a lot that are just as awful. Beta blockers and calcium channel blockers. Why are you taking, if you're on a, if you're on a, a, a bisphosphonate for osteoporosis, what's up? It's just because the doctor told you? The bisphosphonates, these drugs that, uh, that suppress the, the, the remodeling, as they call it, of bone, which is where old bone gets broken down and new bone is built up. That's called remodeling. And the remodeling process is suppressed by, by the bisphosphonate. So it makes it look like your bone's not being degraded, but you end up with weaker bones. There's no drug that can build the body. There's no drug that can build the body, period, 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 period. There's no drugs that can make you stronger. There's drugs that can jack you up, maybe, there's drugs that can give you a quick surge of energy by forcing chemicals into your blood or by forcing your body to pump chemi chemicals into the blood, but nobody is better off for drugs. This is why they do this thing called risk management. They tell you, oh, well, we'll we know the statin drugs decrease your risk by heart disease by 2.6%, blah, 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 blah. That's the only thing they can tell you, risk management. They can't tell you you're going to get better no matter what your drugs are. So anyway, under conditions of excessive cortisol, which happen as we get older and stressed out, our bodies break down, in combination with, with uh, drops in DHEA and pregnenolone, you end up falling apart, pretty much is how it goes. Interestingly, the DHEA and the pregnenolone act to antagonize or balance out the cortisol. All right, we'll finish up when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right. 
right, we're back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. Got five years of archives up at brightsideben.com and also benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. If you miss a program or if you want to review a program or you want to direct one of your friends, patients, loved ones, clients to a program, you can go to benfuchsarchives.com where we have a search engine also brightsideben.com and just punch in various topics and get all the shows we talked about those. Uh, let's see what else I want to tell you here. TruthTreatments.com. That's my website for my Truth Skin Health products. Many of you know I've been formulating skincare products for 30 plus years, sold millions of dollars of my formulations, and they're still selling them. Had a compounding pharmacy where I did skin care products, only skin. That's all we did. Probably start another one up here, hopefully, in the next year or so. And by the way, I have a new acne supplement coming out here, uh, hopefully, in the next month. I've been formulating it, been working on it for a while. In any case, I know a lot about the skin, and that's why I developed the Truth Skin Health products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, our retinol 5% gel, truth serum, truth balm, truth omega-6 healing cream. I know a lot about the skin, which is why I didn't put any crap in the products. No fillers, no waxes, no silicones, no preservatives, no water, no nothing you don't need or don't want, and that's why the products last you months, and that's why you get results really quickly, and you get results really significantly, and even better, while you get results right away, the results accrue. The benefits accrue. Your skin looks better and better and better over time, as anybody who's used the True Skin Health products can tell you. Now we've been selling them for about 14 months or 15 months now. So a lot of folks are using them. And your skin will get, I, and I see it, your skin gets better and better and better. That's the advantage to using nutrients in your skincare products and high concentrations of them in addition to delivery aids. That's the advantage to getting skincare products from somebody who knows how to formulate and not just how to formulate, but understands the skin. TruthTreatments.com. You can check them all out at TruthTreatments.com. Okay, so DHEA, love the stuff, along with pregnenolone and progesterone. These are our youth and fertility hormones. DHEA plays a role in just keeping the body healthy and happy. And we were talking before we went to break about these bisphosphonates and osteoporosis. I can always tell when somebody is at risk for osteoporosis by looking at their skin. Wrinkles and osteoporosis go hand in hand. And they usually show up in a specific body type. If you have a lean and mean body type, you're at risk for osteoporosis and you're at risk for, uh, for uh, wrinkles as well. And if you're wrinkling, you probably do have osteoporosis because it's the same stuff that's breaking down, the connective tissue, which is why the bisphosphonates are such a silly, silly strategy. If, you're, if you have osteoporosis and you have wrinkles, and by the way, also... A heart disease goes hand in hand with these kinds of issues because when you have osteoporosis and you have wrinkles, you also have a problem with your calcium. And you also have a problem with the connective tissue in your blood vessels. They all work together. Everything works together. This is the, the lunacy of specialized medicine. And once we nail this down, once we figure this out, that we don't have special health challenges, that we have generic health challenges, no matter what we call them, there's going to be a lot of unemployed specialists a lot of specialists doing drywall, and that's not a bad thing. Sorry to my specialist friends. DHEA is also really, really important for helping the body process sugar. DHEA helps cells absorb sugar. DHEA helps sensitize insulin, helps reverse insulin resistance, which means it's going to help improve something called metabolic syndrome, which you guys have probably heard of. Metabolic syndrome is a, is a, a constellation of health challenges, including heart disease and bone problems and, and uh, weight gain and, and hypertension and just a whole grab bag full of crappy things that happen to us as we get older. It's all called metabolic syndrome. They used to call it syndrome X. And it's all related to the fact that we don't, our, our cells stop listening to insulin. We don't work with insulin as effectively. DHEA improves that. DHEA reverses insulin resistance, and this has been recognized for at least 20 years. I first read about it in the 90s. And this is, should not be unexpected because DHEA is a youth hormone and a fertility hormone. If you, you don't need to know all the specific things DHEA does for you, but just know if it's, if it's good, DHEA can help. That's basically all you need to know. DHEA is, is not only important for the blood sugar system via its, its ability to help stabilize insulin or help the body use, utilize insulin. DHEA is also important for the blood sugar system because it's an adrenal hormone. It makes the adrenal stronger. Anything that makes the adrenal stronger is going to improve 
improve uh, uh, your blood sugar, your insulin resistance, and your body's ability to process blood sugar. Many female health issues that are related to estrogen and, uh, and the steroid hormones, cortisol, are associated with the reproductive system. So female health issues will typically, uh, if you go to a gynecologist and you have PMS or you have uh, PCOS or some other female health issue, you're going to probably end up focusing, your, your specialist is probably going to end up focusing on your ovaries or your uterus, your reproductive system. But perhaps they might want to think about focusing on your adrenal glands. Even better, we can focus on our own adrenal glands. This link between adrenal health and female health issues is very, very underappreciated. If you got adrenal health issues, you are setting your, and you're approaching perimenopause, you're in your 30s or 40s or 50s, and you have adrenal health issues, you are setting yourself up for a lousy menopause. That's what a lousy menopause is. It's an adrenal issue. And it should come as no surprise that we have a, that's par for the course. As we, as women get older, it's par for the course to have hot flashes and insomnia and jitteriness. And, and for the guys out there, it's a, it's miserable. And the only reason I don't, the only reason I know about it is because I see it all the time and I work with women all the time. It, it's awful. And it's so tragically unnecessary. It's an adrenal issue. So what do you do? You go to the, you go to the gynecologist, the specialist, and they give you estrogen which amps up the system even more. You get a smart gynecologist, they'll get you some progesterone because that helps your adrenal glands and it calms your body down. Yes, if you are dealing with a menopausal crisis or you don't want to be dealing with a menopausal crisis, fo focus on adrenal health. If you're already into the hot flashes and you're into the insomnia and jitteriness and emotional issues and skin problems, et cetera, start working with these, some of these adrenal health strategies, including getting yourself on pregnenolone. I'd be careful about DHEA, but you might want to try that too. Take pregnenolone before you go to bed. Take pregnenolone, 100 milligrams of pregnenolone every day. If you're dealing with hot flashes, you're dealing with menopausal symptoms. Now, I'm not saying that's all you need to do. You definitely want to be stabilizing your blood sugar. And, of course, as always, focusing on digestive health. What you don't need to do is go to a, a, an endocrinologist or a gynecologist. Sorry to my friends who are endocrinologists and gynecologists. You're irrelevant for the most part. We can do this ourselves. In my opinion, the best way to approach PMS, PCOS, hot flashes, and, and menopausal symptoms, any kind of female reproductive health issues, is not gynecological. It's physiological. So instead of focusing on gynecology, in my opinion, we want to focus on the health of the body. This is where the triangle of disease becomes so important. Female health issues are about the triangle. The top of the triangle is your adrenal glands, or the adrenal thyroid complex, if you want to throw that in, the thyroid gland. The tip of the triangle is the adrenal thyroid complex, and the bottom of the triangle is the blood sugar system and the digestive system, and that's where you want to focus if you're dealing with any female health issues. It's not about the uterus. It's not about the ovaries. It's about the triangle, as always. There's a really, really awful female health issue we're going to talk about tomorrow called endometriosis. That is a really miserable thing, and as anybody who has it can tell you, and the doctor strategy, hormones and surgery. The Bright Side strategy, nutritional supplements, and dietary strategies. We'll talk about that tomorrow on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Thanks for joining us. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 at Central Time. Also on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com. And if you want to purchase any of the Longevity products or even better, if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866 735 2470. If you've experienced the power of the longevity supplements, if you've experienced the power of these ideas we talk about on the Brightside every day, and I know there's a bunch of you out there, and you want to help other people, and you want to make a little bit of money on the side or a lot of money on the side while you're doing it, please call 866 735 2470 and tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a business. You can have your own business. And, of course, you can also just get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire. 844-236-6010 is our number today on the Bright Side. Get your calls here just a split second. I've got a couple studies I want to talk about real quick that I, uh, that I got here. This is from the National Institute of Health. 
uh, published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, quote, some women with PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, horrible health challenge that mostly younger women get, women in their fertile years get, most women, uh, some women with PCOS ha may have adrenal disorder. Oh yeah, no kidding. A subgroup of women with polycystic ovarian syndrome, a leading cause of infertility, may produce excess adrenal hormones. No, that's what they say. I say they do produce excess adrenal hormones. Guaranteed. That subgroup, that, uh, that subgroup, apparent, uh, supposed subgroup of women, that's called everybody, every woman with polycystic ovarian syndrome. Focus on the adrenal glands. That's from uh, the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism. Here's another good one. This is from uh, the Public Library of Science. Little to no association between butter consumption and chronic disease or total mortality. Love your butter, people. It's awesome stuff. Selenium and vitamin K and iodine and all important butyric acid, which is so critical for the health of the intestine. That's butter and it tastes delicious. You know, sometimes people think that, oh, you can't eat anything or you, you know, if you start to get healthy, you gotta, you gotta avoid all the good stuff. No, butter and salt and broccoli or butter and salt and Brussels sprouts roasted. Mm, mm, mm. Lots of salt, lots of butter. That's the good stuff. You want sweet? Go for some beets. Don't eat too much though. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Susan in California. Good morning. What's up, Susan? Susan, you there? No? Do we have Susan? Going once? Going twice? I'm going to put, put you back on hold, Susan. And, uh, I don't hear Susan, so I'm going to put her back on hold and go to Denise in California. Welcome to the Bright Side, Denise. Hey, good morning. Thank you for your wonderful wealth of information again. Oh, I'm thank you. To, how are you today? I'm doing good. Thanks for the kind words, Denise. What's going on? How, how can we help awesome. you? Well, I want some information so I could share with my friend on depression. She's taken antidepressant and some other pharmaceutical, and, okay. and I'm really concerned for her. So, uh, okay, let me give you some ideas here. First of all, when it comes to depression and emotional health issues or mental health or psychological health issues, I'm always a little bit careful about just going the nutrition route and the food route and the dietary uh -huh. route and all the things we talk about here. Cause there's so much, you know, there's so much to be depressed about Denise, you know, yeah. the world is the world, the way it is. There's so much, there's good reason to be depressed. So I'm always, yeah. I'm always hesitant to, you know, to work nutritionally that way. However, that being said, there are wonderful nutrients that are, uh, can support mental health and nutritional deficiency can actually make things worse or even induce mental health issues. Right. So, She's not been able to eat for six years because of oh. over radiation and cancer. She's got a okay. lot of things going on. So she's on. just so running, I... yeah, depression of the psychological depression is like the analog of physiologic depression. So in the same way her body is depressed, her immune system is depressed, her energy levels are depressed, her adrenals are probably depressed. Her mind is, and her psychology is depressed too, so it's understandable. So let's start turning this thing around. Number one, we gotta get the electrical, and this is for everybody out there listening, by the way, and your Denise's friend is not alone. Uh, you, wanna, you wanna amp up the electric, <clears throat> excuse me, amp up the electrical energy in the body. That's through movement and oxygen. That's the first thing, okay? Get her on a rebounder, get her doing brisk walks, get her in the gym, uh, not only will the movement amp up her electrical energy, but it'll, it'll turn on her youth and fertility and anabolic hormones, all the things we've been talking about. So making sure that she's moving her body around, that's the first thing to do. Second thing, along with moving her body around, is, is oxygenating, practicing deep breathing, slow, deep breathing techniques. And in the case of somebody who's depressed, she may want to practice something called the breath of fire which I use when I'm trying, when I'm driving a long distance and I'm, I'm falling asleep I, and you can, y'all can, can experiment this yourselves. If you want quick energy, do the breath of fire, which is the opposite of slow, deep breathing. It's quick, shallow breathing, but, but quick I'll do, I, 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 you can't see me doing it here, but maybe you can hear me doing it and I'll do it right now like that. I don't know if you can hear that, but you do quick, shallow breathing and that perks you up. Now you don't want to do it a lot uh, chronically throughout the day because you're, you're really jacking up your adrenal hormones, but it's a way to get quick energy. Then the, uh, from a, from a nutritional standpoint, there's tons she could do. She should definitely be on pregnenolone right away, hundred milligrams. Yep. That's not going to give her energy, but it'll help with her adrenal glands or maybe DHEA 10 milligrams a day. The healthy start pack, I would take extra B vitamins, the B100. I'd be practicing caloric restriction, especially if she's eating what she's the standard American diet. The less she eats, the more energy she'll have, as long as she's getting her she nutrients, chooses. of course. 
Juicing's great, Juicing, but not sugar. You know, it's all, it's all not the sugar food. stuff. Not the, not the apples and the pears, but the broccoli and the lettuce and the cucumbers. But juicing's awesome. Vegetable, uh, chicken soup and vegetable soup for that matter. Uh, and I would be taking extra, as I say, extra B vitamins like in a, a B100 form. You can get that at the health okay. food store. In addition to her Beyond Tangy Tangerine, of course. And then her um, uh, essential fatty acids, the entire Healthy Star pack. And then if she's got any digestive health issues, she wants to patch up the gut using the probiotics that we always talk about, the biolumin or the ultimate nightly essence, as well as fermented foods. And then uh, an elimination diet, uh, food diary, and then the elimination diet. Problem foods will also put a stress on the system. Okay. There's so much more you could do, but that's a great start for you. More protein, less sugar is another one. More protein, less bread, pasta, yeah. sweets. Okay. Okay, take care, Denise. Good to talk to you. Thanks Thank for the you. kind words. Appreciate it. Have a yeah. beautiful day. All right, let's see if we get Susan back. Are you there, Susan? Susan. Susan. Okay, I'm not sure what Susan. Susan, you might want to call back, and uh, we'll get your first up, okay? Shayla in Arizona, what's going on? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, good day to you. Thank you. Good day to you. Thanks for calling. Um, I am 60 years old, and I've been taking levothyroxine 75 uh, micrograms, and I've noticed for the past uh, three years, I don't know if I, that has anything to do with it, but I've noticed in the past three years that my teeth have gotten uh, loose. Yeah. Uh, they're cracking, they're shifting, okay. and uh, I'm losing, um, oh, I went in blank. I'm, I'm losing feeling. You're losing your memory. Um, no, I'm just kidding. That yeah, that too. That too. <laughs> now, here's, here's the thing, Shayla. You're experiencing all of the signs of hypothyroidism, which is not unusual for a woman who's 60. It's not unusual for anybody these days, really. Remember, I don't know if you've heard this before, heard the program before, but we have something that we talk about on this program that I noticed from studying people and watching people and seeing people. I noticed that everybody breaks down the same way with three points of breakdown that are prominent under all health challenges. The first point is the digestive system the second the blood sugar system and the third the thi the adrenal thyroid complex and then from there everything else happens you're that's where you're at you're at the where everything else happens including connective tissue breaking down and that's why your teeth are loose so hang tight Shayla because we're going to take care of everything for you in one fell swoop or at least three fell swoops when we come back from uh, this commercial break thanks for listening you are on the GCN uh, Genesis Communication Network I'm pharmacist Ben we'll be back Okay, we are back talking to Shayla in Arizona. Are you there, Shayla? Shayla, Shayla. Let me see. Hit the wrong I button. Am. Hi, Shayla. So, uh, yes, Hi. Uh, triangle of disease. It under, underlies everything. So, when, once the thyroid, the thyroid regulates all the cells of the body. It's like a like a, a a messenger that communicates messages to muscle cells to make a muscle, to connective tissue cells to make them make connective tissue, to heart cells to make it heart, to brain cells to make it brain. All the cells do what they do under the command of thyroid hormone. When you don't have a, when your thyroid's not working correctly, you're not going to make thyroid hormone, and your boneheaded medical representative is going to give you thyroid hormone. The reason that's a boneheaded strategy is because the problem is the thyroid, not the thyroid hormone. You follow me? So they replace the yeah. thyroid hormone, supposedly. They don't even do that because Synthroid is not even really thyroid hormone. FYI, do you know that, Shayla? It's not even really yeah. thyroid hormone. It's, I didn't uh, know that. They, exactly. So nobody's doing nothing for you, Shayla, but you can do it yourself. Number one, you work on the digestive system. Thyroid hormone is activated in the digestive system, number one. And so you can't really turn it on without, a, without the intestine working correctly and the probiotics. That's number one. And number two, once your thyroid's messed up, then you're going to be constipated and not absorbing your nutrients. Capiche? Makes sense? If, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? So it's the, you got to work on the, on the digestive system first. You should be doing an elimination diet, eliminating problem foods. Get yourself on the uh, uh, nightly essence probiotics. Do nine of them a day. Day. Eat fermented foods in addition to it. Eat as little as you absolutely 100% have to. That means you don't get to eat like your friends anymore, and you'll be healthier and live longer. So that's the good sign. That's the good news. That means you, you can't do it. At the age of 60, with all this already happening, you have a very narrow window, with all due respect. So only eat when absolutely necessary. Work on the blood sugar system. More protein, less foods that spike the blood sugar system. And if you don't want to have zero tolerance, at least reduce your intake of those kinds of foods. Start using the Suero V. Uh, that's a longevity product that will give you energy. S-U-E-R-O-V-I-V, Suero V. Get letters from folks who can't find it because I, I don't spell it. Suero is S-U-E-R-O-V-V-I-V. -V -V. 
and start drinking that, maybe uh, half a bottle every hour. You can do a square V cleanse where you do, don't eat, and then you do a half a bottle every hour and as a fast. Make sure you're practicing your deep breathing techniques. And as I was talking with our last caller, move that body. Get your body moving. That means uh, a rebounder exercising. You don't need to do a gym. You can run in place or, you know, you can do sitting and standing kinds of exercises while you're watching TV. You can walk up and down the stairs. You want to keep your body moving. You want to stimulate the growth of tissue. And that's where exercise, especially if it's with weights, can really be beneficial for you. A couple other things you might want to consider doing is uh, glucogel caps from Longevity, bone soup, chicken soup with the bones, as well as uh, uh, always take your Beyond Tangy Tangerine or vitamin C with your glucogel caps and your bone soup. And also, of course, goes without saying to make sure you're getting the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients from the Healthy Start Pack. Hope I helped you, Shayla. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it very much. And uh, have yourself a beautiful day, okay? Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. We got Susan back. Susan, in, hopefully. Susan in California. You there? I am. Can you hey, hear Susan. me? Hey, Susan. I hear you now. What's going on? Okay. How can we help you? Great. Thank you. I, um, I am smelling urine on my breath and in my nose when I breathe. Are you, are you sure it's... Now, urine doesn't really have a smell. So when you say urine, what, is it like a fish smell? No, it smells ammonia? like... Um, Maybe it's a little bit like ammonia, but I'm not. It, I know it's ammonia just, is really sharp. Well, it it could it, it doesn't have to be exactly like ammonia, but similar to ammonia. When you say urine, I'm not exactly sure what you mean because urine doesn't have a smell. But I know the come that that kind of ammonia kind of type of smell that comes from urine. That's that could be a, a condition called trimethylaminuria, trimethylaminuria, which is a, they call it fish fish odor syndrome. I think they call it. Uh, where people will sweat and they'll have that kind of smell. You, and it happens in degrees. So you may have a mild case of it. Did it just start happening or did you have it all your life? Or how does that work? Two months. About two months. Two months ago. All right. That's, it sounds to me like, does that sound familiar? Does it smell kind of fishy or ammonia at all? Anything like that? Well, not fishy, but it, it's just almost it's in, sometimes it has a, like a vanilla smell to me, but it's like too sweet and okay. Icky. Well, uh, are you diabetic at all? No, I'm not. Um, I'm low thyroid, and I was listening to you tell that girl about okay, thyroid. Well, here's, I am on Synthroid. Okay, well, that, that's not helping you, as you know. So uh, let's yeah. let's let, I'm going to I'm going to approach this as if it's a, the, a an issue with trimethylaminuria, which is the ammonia kind of thing, and that's not uncommon. It happens in degrees, and that's a digestive health issue. All right. Now, the okay. fact that you have a thyroid I problem tells was. me. That's where you want to focus. So if, this is what I would like you to do. This is what I su- would suggest you do, okay? Uh, if you can fast, s- fast for two or three days, see if the smell goes away or at least starts to diminish. If it does, which it probably will, then you'll know you've got some kind of food issue and you want to start working with the digestive system. Uh, you want to do the elimination diet where you write down everything you eat and then eliminate foods that cause any kind of digestive health issues or, in your case, also uh, exacerbate the smell. Exacerbate, exacerbate that odor, and then you're going to be eliminating those foods. The next thing you want to do, because TMAO, uh, the fish, fish odor syndrome, is really caused by a problem with the bacteria that live in the intestine, is you want to start to reestablish the environment in the intestine so it's, uh, it's a conducive home for all those bacteria that live in there, and there's lots of ways to do that. First of all, taking probiotics and making sure you're getting uh, fermented I, foods. I do take probiotics, and Good. I take enzymes. Well, hang on, hang on, sweetheart. Uh, okay. Probiotics. How much? How much probiotics are you taking? Well, I take uh, one in the morning with breakfast. No, that's not even going to touch it. That's oh. not even going to touch it. You need to take. If you go, go get yourself a nightly essence, take nine of them a day. Okay. Uh-huh. In addition to that, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night. In addition to that, start loving fermented food. Get a book called The oh. Art of Fermentation. Has got lots of easy recipes, or just make your own sauerkraut if you like sauerkraut, or go to a health food store and get it. You know, make sure it's got the live cultures in it, all right? And then do lots of vegetable juices. Those will also help. Vegetable juices will help uh, provide a healthy environment for the intestine. You also probably want to start working with, uh, you might want to experiment anyway, working with the ketogenic diet, which is a high fat, moderate protein, low sugar diet. And you said you're on, you have, I think you said you're a diabetic. If that would help no, you no, there. No, no, no. Oh, you're not, not a diabetic. Not diabetic. Okay, okay. Then you're not a diabetic. All right. So, uh, it's still treat yourself like a diabetic. How old are you? Sixty-seven. 
Well, you could very easily be a pre-diabetic. In fact, you probably are. So just treat yourself well, I do as have problems with sugar. I, well, I, there you go. It's unusual. It would be almost impossible for you not to. So get on the sweeties from longevity and start doing the uh, restricting your intake of carbohydrates and fast-burning sugars, sweets and fruit juices and desserts and pasta, etc. Those kinds of foods, and then up your protein and up your fat, preferably from coconut oil. Wouldn't hurt you to get on the Healthy Start Pack. Focus on the digestive system. I'm, a, is what I'm, I'm on saying. the Healthy Start Pack, and I do do coconut coconut oil. Um, Good. Stay with it. Then focus on the intestines with the elimination diet and the probiotics and the vegetable juice. That's where I would be looking at. Would you call us back and let us know how you're doing? I'd like to know if, this, if it helped. Thanks so much for your call, Susan. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's see here. Did I lose my phone calls? No. Let's go to Chris in California. Welcome to the Bright Side. Chris, what's up? Chris? Hello. Hey, Chris. Oh, yeah. Hey, how's it going? Oh, sorry about that. Um, once again, thanks for uh, taking my call. I pretty much wanted to give you an update on um, what I've been doing uh, before. I was the guy that called before that uh, was just having issues with um, taking the products and not necessarily feeling, or if anything, the point being was that I was feeling really hungry afterwards, even okay. after taking, you know, the recommended amount. And it turns out I just recently just started taking it just yesterday, the uh, uh belly of uh, the probiotic and for whatever reason i don't feel as hungry as i did before and, and today just this morning i was taking maybe uh, half of the recommended service for my body weight and i noticed a difference so i was thinking you know i'm gonna keep at it and i'm gonna just keep uh, doing that that's great but, uh, one thing that i meant or that i forgot to mention before is when i was born i was born as a c-section and uh and you know i was pretty much born that way so i'm thinking maybe you know, I don't have necessarily the enough uh, gut bacteria to, you know. You're right on, my friend. Else. You nailed yeah, it. So, uh, <laughs> what, what can I do then? Because my brothers are well, also. A couple things. First of all, let me tell you, I'm going to run out of time here, so let me tell you real quick, all right? Get on, and if the root beer belly is working for you, the ultimate nightly essence will work much, much, much better for you. Get on that okay. one. Vegetable juices. Make sure you're juicing veggies and doing fermented foods. Get a book right. called The Art of Fermentation. Uh, and then also eating, you want to grind up flax seeds every day and do some flaxseed fiber. And then uh, you might also want to experiment with a ketogenic diet. That's another good one. Apple cider vinegar with all your meals in addition to digestive enzymes. And then look out for foods that cause any digestive distress because they'll kill your bacteria. Uh, also water that's got, a, uh, you know, most tap water has got antibiotics in it, certainly fish. And uh, meat can have antibiotics in it. So stay away from hidden sources of antibiotics. And, and if you're on an antibiotic, be really, really careful. In fact, avoid antibiotics unless you absolutely ne need them. And that's true for every Everybody, by the way, avoid antibiotics unless you absolutely 100% need them, which of course sometimes you do. But just to take them if you have acne or you have a cold, that's that's craziness. Um, and then as far as the hidden sources go, you, you best you obviously want to avoid those, Chris. Thanks for that update, though. I appreciate it. Anything else, ma'am? Right, okay, good. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I apologize if we, I left you on hold. Call back tomorrow, tell our call screener we did that, and uh, and then uh, we'll get you first up. Uh, if you call back tomorrow, at 844-236-6010. For I'm health sure. and vitality for you, your family, and friends, get the Healthy Start Pack from Longevity.